All right, this time I'm gonna set up a transmission server. Um, real easy here. So we have our uh, two files here. So this one's the script and this one's the settings. And the first thing you wanna do is chmod for the, the install here. And now it should be green, meaning that we can actually execute it now. So we're gonna do uh, sudo install transmission here. And it should automatically detect your, what is that, your default package manager. And um, I only test this on like an Ubuntu base and a Arch, you know, base. So any of those two type of system that uses those package manager, um, you should be able to use this script here. Anyways, um, we'll wait for it to finish here. So. You can still hold on. Well, we are doing it in the VM here, but anyways, uh, once it's done here, it's gonna ask us a few questions here. So, where do you want your safe folder to be? Like I said, um, you don't want to put this in your home folder because there's a lot of permission issues that we're gonna be doing. So you don't want to do that. So you can put in, you know, media, MNT, wherever it is outside of your home folder. It doesn't matter. But um, this one, I'm gonna do media. Spell it right here. And um, I usually have like an external partition called data, but you know, like I said, anywhere you want. So I'm gonna call this one uh, transmission here. And that's it. So if you, if you don't have that folder or that path, it will automatically create it. So it creates that path here. And also additional uh, three, you know, folders here. So once we're completed, you know, torrent, uh, incomplete and the watch directory is you know if you have a, a torrent file and you uh, want to send to that folder it will automatically add it to your um, your download queue right but we're not doing anything with that um, for this video uh, next thing we're gonna do is set the permission of that directory we just created um, what kind of you know permissions you want now if you're a new user and you don't understand anything about like permissions I just recommend you do 777 because they have read write and access to all users so I have users groups and others right so read write and execute doesn't matter so that's what I want but if you're like maybe admin level you know maybe you want to do like 770 and that will have your your users and I believe this one's your groups um, to have read write and, you know execute uh, permissions but anyways I'm gonna use 777 here and the next thing is for the UMass because when you um, you know downloading something, uh, they have a permissions for those files too. So what what do you want to set to? So the UMass uh, usually if you're using seven seven seven, you want to use uh, zero zero zero. Same thing if you're using like seven seven zero, you want to use like zero zero seven. I mean you can mix and match uh, the different ones, but kind of makes sense to go with um, you know what it, it gives you chart there anyways uh, we'll do zero 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 we're newbie level we do all the all the other stuff here just give everyone permissions right um, so that's it for that and now for uh, creating a user we're gonna call this whatever you want you can call it admin whatever right this one we call it God mode here and our password I don't know one two three four or something like that and that's it uh, our um, server or a web UI for this transmission uh, is going to be at this uh, location here. So open up a web browser um, and we should be able to find that one here. Oh, that was 102, right? 102. And it'll tell us to type in our password and stuff like that. So God mode and it was 1234. And that's it. This is our uh, our web UI here. First thing you probably want to do in here is, um, you know, your settings here if you want to change it. So, um, but definitely you want to update your block list here. And this will block like uh, known IPs of, you know, people that you don't want to um, spy on your, you know, your, your torn action. Right? Um, what else is there? 
As far as the port, uh, I left it static because there's a lot of people that use firewalls. Um, so, you know, if you're using a firewall, you probably want to open that port. Otherwise, I'll recommend you randomize it when you launch. Uh, anything else in here? If you want to see, uh, you can do like ratio one, two, three, four, whatever it is. It's up to you. I left it at zero just in case. Um, anything else in here? That's pretty much it. And so if you want to add a torrent, let me see here. We have anything with the torrent? We'll do, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll do some wallpapers. Why is it so laggy? Okay. So let's say we have this one, which is. Let's see, what was that one? Magnet. There we go. We'll grab that one real quick. And then we just add it in here like that. And that's it. So you can paste in, what was that? A torrent link, a magnet link, or you can even upload a, um, a torrent file too if you want to, um, you know, your server here. Um, so really cool. And, you know, you have their, their login now. So you can actually use like an Android app. Uh, which one I use? I use the Transdroid. So you can actually uh, remotely add torrents to your server if you wanted to. Um, pretty much it, you know, that's all you gotta do for this. So that's how you would set up really quick. That was like, you know, if I was doing it really quick, maybe under 30 seconds or something like that, depending, maybe under a minute, right? Anyways, that's how you set up the um, transmission server. Real easy. Like I said, it should work on all other distributions. Uh, if it doesn't work, maybe contact me. Um, that'd be it for this one.